guys, today we're going to be doing a little food experiment. Um, we're going to be freezing the foods. All of these items I got at my local grocery store, so you should be able to find them. First off, we have my mandarin oranges. Um, I love eating these, not just for freezing. I also have lemonade. Um, you can use any juice for this experiment. And last but not least, obviously not least, whipped cream. So first off, we have these mandarin oranges. Uh, I decided to put the juice into a separate bowl than the actual orange pieces so that they don't just freeze all together. So after I get all this stuff in the bowls, I'm gonna put them in the freezer for an hour. So see you then. I've decided to start doing shout outs, so if you wanna be in them, please comment below whether you like my pink or clear sign better. I accidentally did this clip in time lapse. I just put the whipped cream in the freezer if you were wondering why that was there. So now for the lemonade, this is actually a recipe I've done before, not with lemonade specifically, but other juices, it's popsicles. Uh, you're gonna need saran wrap, like I showed you, toothpicks, and containers. I used these because I didn't have any room in my freezer for ice cube trays, so I just used these, but ice cube trays are a little easier to use. As you can see, I just filled up my container with my lemonade. Then you tear a piece of saran wrap and put it right over. To um, put your toothpick in, just hold the saran wrap on the sides so that it doesn't move. After I finish all five of my containers, I'll put them in the freezer for an hour and then check them and see if they're frozen. I just checked on my stuff, they still aren't totally frozen, so I'm gonna put them back in the freezer. Okay guys, I'm back. I know it seemed only like, well obviously a few seconds, but I've actually been gone for like 30 minutes. Right now we're gonna check on the lemonade and the other stuff. So here we go. I just took one of the lemonades, cause I mean if one's frozen then they're all frozen. Um, it doesn't seem to have uh, frozen at all. Oops, it just leaked. Um, so I'll get back to you when that is frozen. So here are my mandarin thingies and my whipped cream. Last time I checked, this was partially frozen. As you can see, it's like slushy almost. Um, my whipped cream is pretty frozen. It feels like hard but not totally frozen so I'll put that back in. My mandarins haven't even changed at all like they're still like mandarin-y I guess. I'm just gonna eat one because I don't think they're gonna be frozen. Cold. Cold. Okay. Obviously they're in the freezer so they were very cold. Um I could kind of taste little ice particle thingies in the mandarins. I actually think they taste better than before, but um, I guess that's an opinion, so you might not think so. Uh, I'm just gonna eat these because I don't think they're gonna change at all, and I really like how they taste right now. This I'm gonna put back in the freezer, and I'll check in with it with the lemonade, and same for this one. Right now I'm checking on the mandarin juice and the whipped cream. To me it seems like the mandarin juice is like really frozen so 
I'm gonna attack it with a spoon and see if it tastes like a popsicle or something like that. Like you can make a granita or something if you wanted to. Shaved ice. Let's try this. It basically tastes exactly like the mandarin pieces, but just like um, like shaved ice or something. It's it tastes really good. I mean, if you made a big batch, it's good. It'd be cool if you put this in an ice cube tray, and then your ice was like mandarin flavored. So this was a complete success. Delicious. And my whipped cream. It like seems like pretty similar as last time, but I really want to try it, so I'm gonna eat it. This tastes exactly like vanilla ice cream. Like you might have expected that, but I wasn't sure. It tastes so good. Um it's way cheaper than buying actual ice cream, so if you wanted to, you could just buy like the spray type of whipped cream, and then you just freeze it, and it tastes like ice cream. So, I checked on my lemonade. It isn't totally frozen, so I'm gonna leave that for like 30 more minutes, and then hopefully it'll be frozen by the time dinner's ready. So, hey guys, so I'm finally finished. The Lemonade is finally frozen, as you can see. Uh, I'm really excited to try these, except the thing is that I'm not sure how I'm going to get them out. So I'm just going to try to use a fork and, like, get them out. I'm not sure. Seems like it's coming out. Silicon ice... Um... Silicon ice trays are probably easier because like they bend and stuff, so. Oh great. Um, turned out, but I just dropped it. So that isn't good. Let's try another one. Like, if you can get these out they're really good for like a mid-afternoon snack or like after lunch or for a picnic okay good this one did not fall out as you can see it's a little popsicle it's really cool let's see how they turned out this is really good especially because lemonade is like a lot one of my favorite drinks so yeah this is I think all of the things that I froze turned out really well. I really suggest that you try them. So thank you guys so much for watching. And um, I hope you visit me again for one of my next videos. Please push the subscribe button below or above or wherever it is. And give us a thumbs up. Please comment if you have any ideas for videos I should do like slime or other recipes. So hasta luego. That means, see you soon. Wait, no. Hasta luego. Hasta luego means goodbye in Spanish. Okay, good, I got that. <laughs>